But he was like he wanted to rap. And when he said it, I was like, all right. I mean, shit. What what, can, what we got to lose? Yeah, yeah, you can have a beat. You can have a beat. That ain't shit. But I ain't never think he was going to become Waka Flocka Fame. He went on the road with Gucci, and he opened up. He, he just performed. He took the mic. They put this song on. He just performed. Somebody recorded it on his phone. He brought it back and showed me. The energy from the crowd, I was like, damn. That shit look crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like that before. Nigga, I go to the store and buy a person. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. Yeah. 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 Me and Lex used to work every day, all day. Like nonstop. We we sat in his basement for damn near a year. Every day, making beats all day long. That's how our BMF and all that shit got created. I was right there when all that shit got done. And Walker, his he ain't a Specific, like, bro, I want this kind of beat type person. When we go to the studio, it's so laid back, he might just be like, bro, put, little bro, put some beats on. If the shit catches in, he gon' go crazy on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's just Walker. It wasn't no special put together or nothing. It just was, who's hungry, man? Flockavelli <laughs> wasn't even an album we made, it was a mixtape. But that shit was so hard. With the energy him and Lex had back then, that shit was crazy. Like, that shit made a whole new sound in hip hop. Like, like, it's a party. He did like five or six of the damn songs in one night on some crazy shit. Like, just running through songs. But when, the, when they heard that shit, they was like, this shit don't sound like no fucking music. So they said they're switching the shit to an album. Everybody got damn just with the old shit. Talk about this album. This album was like the most. This is the most confusing making album ever in life, like to me right now. Out of my whole career, this is the most work, and not even on the like on my not for producing like with everything because that's my brother at the same time. Yeah. And BSM is a company. I look at it as like it's ours. As an all, because if he make it, I make it. If I make it, he make it. So I'm gonna do anything I can to help him. But the, at, for a minute, when we was making the album, it just wasn't sounding like an album at first. It was just sounding like, oh. so we were stressing. And then, then uh, don't die. So that kind of really just it was like, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, this shit. Just aggravating. We took damn near like two months off after that. He got when he got back in the studio that last time, he came with some records and I was like, oh buddy, this shit sound right now. Yeah. She loved me. She loved me not. She don't really love me. She love my watch. Put your mind fly away in here. At first when he was like, bro, we go to the studio with B.O.B., I was like, he probably gonna be acting funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when we got there, he act like us. He was just cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why I was like, I I, I fuck with homie. I'm cool as a fool. I came to the studio with um with Walker and B.O.B. was in there, Jay is producer and Kyle is guitarist. And um they was like, let's make a record. And Jay had a loop. He had a loop. I was like, that's, that's a loop sound crazy. I was I said, I said and Walker was like, you need to um, let let little brother throw some drums on there for like for my part or whatever. And then while we and then everything just kinda started coming together. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just let's do this part, do that part no more. It was like, nah, bro, you should play this like this. This sound hard. It just came together, and that shit is a crazy record. It's called Fist Pump. Like it's crazy. Why well, can't Bob? So whoever want to do something pop, I don't care who he is. I got the pop records, written, whatever. I got the whole songs, beats, whatever. Let's get it. Brother, let's scrap stack across the street. Yeah. For real? Yeah. <coughs> when that happened? Bro, I'm shocked. I'm sitting here doing the interview with you right now. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's just I'm. I wake up every day shocked. Like damn, we really doing this shit. Like really, I don't even call myself a producer, bro. I, I'm just somebody who make beats right now. Like I'm learning to be a producer. I'm still learning. Like I don't know how to play piano keys. There's certain records that I still can't make that I, I take my hat off and tilt my hat too. But some of them guys can make that stuff. So I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? 